Hello, my name is Megan DaCosta. I'm a product application specialist for the Grills, Registers, and Diffusers product line at Price Industries. Today, I'll be going through the Price Engineer Toolkit for Revit. The Price Engineer Toolkit for Revit can be downloaded directly from the Price website or from the Autodesk App Store. Simply type Price into the search bar and then select Price Engineer Toolkit. The toolkit is compatible with Revit versions 2020 and newer. It is a free application and you can simply click download here. When you first open Revit and open either a new project or model, you'll now see that you have a new tab in the top right corner titled Price Industries. It'll first prompt you to log in. You will then have access to several different tools. The cross-reference tool, product families, favorites manager, about, and our partners tool, the Ripple HVAC toolkit. The first tool we have is the competitor cross-reference. The competitor cross-reference allows you to compare between competitor product codes and price product codes. If you know the product code, you can simply type in the code here under the search bar and the price equivalent families will appear below. If you select the manufacturer, it'll take you directly to the manufacturer's website. If you select the price product code, it'll take you to the price product page, which has access to performance data, submittals, and smoke videos. If you select the competitor product code, it'll take you to a Google search of the manufacturer and the product code. If you're not sure the specific product code, you can also utilize filters to figure out which family would be right for you. The tool incorporates an extensive list of manufacturers, product categories, as well as models. Now we'll walk through an example of how to add a family to your project utilizing the filters. You can first select a manufacturer, then select a product category, and then finally the model. In this case, we're looking for the TMRA. The price equivalent is the RCD, round cone diffuser. When you click select family, you will see all the families that are associated with that product code. You have the option to download the family to a local folder on your computer or load it directly into your project. Once you load it into your project, it'll automatically update to the newest version of Revit that you're using. Adjust your placement and then you can automatically add the family to your project. The next tool we have is product families. Product families allow you to select a family based off a price product code or using specific product characteristics. To utilize the product characteristics, you can select a product line from the list below. Then you will get a unique set of filters for whichever product line was selected. For grills, you can select a unique application such as fire rated, security grills, or MRI. You can select specific type of mounting, specific features such as filter frame or anodized, different accessories, or the type of product application and material. Alternatively, if you know the product code, you can simply type it in in the search bar above. In this case, we're looking for a louvered grill that is a return and steel. We see all the corresponding families that fall into that category. In this case, will be wanting a 530 model. You'll notice that the user interface is very similar to the website, 
If you select learn more, it'll take you directly to the product page on the price website. Alternatively, we can type in 530 directly into the search bar and we'll see we come up with the same result. To add it to our project, we can select family, go to the 500 series return and load. It'll be updated to the most current version, adjust placement, and it's designed to simply snap directly into your grid. You can adjust the nominal size and width as required. And you can see it automatically updates in your project. The next tool is the Favorites Manager. The Favorites Manager allows you to easily access the families that you'll use the most throughout your project. If it's grayed out, that means no families have been added to your favorites. In order to add families to your favorites, simply go to product families, go to the different product families. By selecting the star, it'll add to your favorites. If you want to remove from favorites, you can simply select the star again. I'll now add a few more for demo purposes. We'll add the 80 egg crate, the PDDR, the perforated return diffuser, and the SDV, the single duct terminal unit. Once we've starred all the families that we want to include, we can simply exit this. You'll now be able to access them directly from your favorites manager. If you select the bottom half of the icon on the favorites manager, you will see all the families you have added to your favorites manager and you can easily add them directly to your project. If you select the top half of the Favorites Manager icon, you can see a more detailed view of all the families you have in your Favorites Manager. From here, you can remove any families from the Favorites Manager, and you can also load them directly into your project. The next tool is the About button. This includes a link directly to the Price Industries website and also indicates the current version of the add-in you are currently using. If a new version of the add-in is available, this will be indicated with a red dot on the About icon. To update, simply click the link, close Revit and reopen Revit and you'll be all up to date. The next section is the Our Partners. Here you can access the Ripple HVAC Toolkit. Price has collaborated with Ripple to create an automatic placement tool. The tool will automatically size and place price ceiling diffusers within a project. By selecting the icon, it'll take you directly to the Ripple Engineering software website. Here you can download the add-in for free by selecting Download Now. Demo videos on how to use the add-in are available on the Ripple YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Should you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to the GRD or Air Moving application team directly.